Good morning and welcome to Stardew Valley. It is Friday, the 12th day of autumn. It's raining. Let's see what the fortune teller says. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. Well, that's too bad because I have plans to go to the mine today, no matter what my luck. Okay, we have quite a few things to do today. Let me just throw some iron ore in the furnace real quick. Okay, we'll check for crops to be harvested. Looks like we got some corn. Are any of these ready? Does not look like it. Okay, so yesterday our cow became old enough to be milked. So I was gonna say, let me grab the milk can and do that. And we'll still do that, but I just had a thought. Let me make a chest to put over there so that I don't have to grab the milk can every morning. Um, let me grab some wood. It's funny, when it's been a little bit since I last recorded, it takes me a few minutes to get back in the groove. <laughs> Remember what buttons to push. Where things are, things like that. Okay, um... Then we have our first cheese. And everybody's inside since it's raining. And you know what? I completely forgot that um, goats can be built too. Oh. There we go. Equip your watering can. Still didn't work. Uh, what's, what's not working here? Okay, so she may be too young. Cows give milk every day today, don't they? Uh, I thought it was goats that... Okay, well you know what, I'm... <laughs> I'm not gonna stand there and... keep getting up her rear end and bugging her about that. <laughs> if she doesn't want to give me milk, she's not gonna give me milk today. Um, I'm gonna throw the chest down here for now. Uh, put the watering can in it. And disappointed not to get any cheese today, but oh, this I'll finally be able to tell how many chicks we have. We do have two. I don't know why I can never remember. And then having them being in the tall grass makes them hard to find. Okay, so on to what we're going to be doing today. I should have remembered to grab this uh, milk thing and uh, the mayonnaise machine and bring it over. Let me... Oh, I don't think I can pick it up because... Um, I don't have the correct tool on me because my pickaxe is at Clint's. Very exciting. And these iron bars are ready already. Sorry, I'm kind of like all over the place this morning, but grab these out of here. I had myself a think in between episodes, and I decided that the reason I'm having so much trouble with money is because I haven't been aggressive enough with my farming. So I'm going to make a bunch more sprinklers, refined quartz. Where's my refined quartz? Do I not have any more? It should be in there, but let me just take a quick look everywhere else. Okay. So I can't do that right this minute. I... Iron bar, gold bar. 
Okay, so I can put the copper bars back. Okay. I'll put the copper ore back. And we'll sell the cheese. And put the wood back, and then we will go out on our adventures. Um, I do have my fishing rod with me. So our first stop is going to be Clint to crack these ores and get our new pickaxe. And then I want to, I did want to go to the mines and get more iron ore, but it seems I have more than I thought I did. Yay! Okay, uh, let's process these geodes. Well, that's funny, the rain stops when you're processing. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so I think we must have seen that before because it's not telling us to go to Gunther. I'm going to keep that and throw it in our chest at home and see if it might be worth more than an amethyst um, for the Stardew Fair. Um, okay, so I know I wanted to fish in the river. There's a few things we need for the community center that I can only get by fishing on rainy days. <laughs> I really can't fish and talk at the same time. That's why that cast was so weird. <laughs> and why I almost missed that fish. Tiger trout, I wonder. No, I don't think that's what I needed. Maybe it was. Okay, I just took a quick break and looked at my notes, and I need the tiger trout, which we just got. I need a walleye, which is available afternoon in the rivers. And I need one other fish that is in the ocean after 4 p.m. Oops. So, come on, walleye. Got it. And I have a full inventory, so I will get rid of the clay. Okay, um, before I go to the ocean, I'm going to empty my inventory a little bit. Hey, Pierre. Okay. Uh, let me pause time here while I have a think. Oh, Linus is looking for smallmouth bass, and we just got one, so... hate to take money from Linus, but I will accept that quest and give it to him. Um, okay, I did want to go to the mines... this toxic trait 
if you will, where when I go into the mines, I just keep going, keep going, keep going until it's time to leave. I love mining so much. But I will have to police myself and get out of the mines in time to do some fishing later. Because I do need the iron ore for the goldstone ring. Please be in your tent, Linus. Yes. Uh... There it is. For some reason I thought it would be green. Like the largemouth. There you go. Oh, it looks like I never... Okay, I still have three days. All right. I'm just, like, going nuts today. I want to do everything. I always get caught on that little edge of Linus's area there. Okay. this up here. You know what, I'm just gonna throw these away for now. Okay, um, ectoplasm, ghosts, 50s, right? Where's my brand new pickaxe? There we go. And let me move this around. I always like my sword to be in spot number one. Let's see what we got here. Ah. <laughs> that was a jade, which is great for staircases. So yeah, money. Um, I want to increase my farming so that I can not stress about money so much. Okay, so solar essence. some iron. I really wonder if there's something that I'm forgetting or missing about this ectoplasm quest. So it's 6 p.m. There's another ghost. Let's see if he has anything different. Hmm. Let me take a quick peek to make sure there's nothing exciting down here. And then we're going to take off and go fishing 
because it definitely should be our priority today since we don't know when there'll be another rainy day. Okay, so we'll get this ghost too and see if he has anything ectoplasmy. Still no. And what the heck, while we're here, we'll break open these couple of wood crates, see if there's anything interesting. Okay, let's clear out this inventory a little bit. Um, leave most of this stuff here and just come back for it another time. Except for the fish. And the ocean stone? Yeah. Okay. Um, mining carts. I think the town is the closest to the beach, probably. Oops. Okay. Eel. I think that might be what we needed. Yes. So we'll try for one more to sell. Because I guess that was my first eel. And there we go. As much as I would like to stay. Oh look, I have more bait in here. Let me put that on my rod. And we'll run home and do some organization. <laughs> my favorite thing. And I will have to look up the ectoplasm. I don't know if I just haven't killed the right ghosts. You know, like the prismatic jelly quest where, you know, you can kill a bunch of slimes and only a couple of them will have the prismatic jelly. Or if I'm just misremembering something and just getting this all wrong. Okay, what more do I have? Throw some iron in there. And now that we have our pickaxe, I'll move this. Uh, <laughs> I did not mean to take down that torch. And we'll grab our eggs out of here. Oh, inventory full. Uh, what can I put in there for the time being? 
I'll just run over to the shipping bin. Okay, so we'll sell the shad. And the salmon. And we'll throw the tiger trout, the eel, and the walleye in there. All for the community center. Yes. Uh, I'll throw the ocean stone in there too, in case I need it for the fair. Um, the topaz, I believe, is worth less than the amethyst, so we'll go ahead and sell that. Ghostfish, I'm not sure what I want to do with him, so I'm going to save him for now. Sell the topaz, and you know what, I'll sell the jade now too, since I need money. And the mayonnaise, and the eel. The seaweed, although I don't expect to get much from that. And now that I have... Oh, excuse me, I was looking at my toolbar. Now that I have the pickaxe... We can finally... Oh, no we can't. <laughs> oh, I was so excited, I thought I'd finally be able to break that. Okay. mayonnaise maker over here and throw an egg in there. Ooh, I've got an iridium egg. Okay, it's 1 p.m. so I don't want to go too far. But I do want to Yes, break these big boulders. So now I can get to the bottom of the farm. Okay, we'll do the one on the other side tomorrow. Oh, I'm gonna pass out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to have time to put that iridium egg in the um in the fair box but or the fair chest but it looks like i'm not going to be able to do that all right so we'll lose a little bit of money um by passing out but that was a pretty good day we really did a lot we got our pickaxe we got three fish for the community center on a day where you know you can't just go out and get those fish every day. So I took advantage of the rainy day. We went down into the mines and got some iron. I am going to look up the ectoplasm quest and see what I might be missing there. So please drop a like and a subscribe if you'd like to follow my Stardew Valley adventures. I also play Dinkum and I just started a Let's Play of Sandrock. As of this recording, the Sandrock isn't posted yet, but it will be very soon. So please join me. And until then, stay safe and take care. Thanks so much for being here. Bye-bye.